This holy man fought to the death for the law of his God and did not fear the words of the godless, for he was built on solid rock. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Direct your faithful Lord in the way of eternal salvation, which the Bishop St. Apollinaris showed by his teaching and martyrdom, and grant through his intercession that we may so persevere in keeping your commandments as to merit being crowned with him. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Woe to those who plan iniquity and work out evil on their couches. In the morning light they accomplish it when it lies within their power. They covet fields and seize them, houses and they take them. They cheat an owner of his house, a man of his inheritance. Therefore, thus says the Lord, Behold, I am planning against this race an evil from which you shall not withdraw your necks, nor shall you walk with head high, or it will be a time of evil. On that day, a satire shall be sung over you, and there shall be a plaintive chant. Our ruin is complete. Our fields are portioned out among our captors. The fields of my people are measured out, and no one can get them back. Thus you shall have no one to mark out boundaries by lot in the assembly of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Do not forget the poor, O Lord. Why, O oh Lord, do you stand aloof? Why hide in times of distress? Proudly the wicked harass the afflicted who are caught in the devices the wicked have contrived. For the wicked man glories in his greed and the covetous blasphemes sets the Lord at naught. The wicked man boasts he will not avenge it. There is no God, sums up his thoughts. His mouth is full of cursing, guile, and deceit. Under his tongue are mischief and iniquity. He lurks in ambush near the villages. In hiding, he murders the innocent. His eyes spy upon the unfortunate. You do see, for you behold misery and sorrow, taking them in your hands. On you the unfortunate man depends, 
of the fatherless, you are the helper. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ and entrusting to us the message of reconciliation. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The Pharisees went out and took counsel against Jesus to put him to death. When Jesus realized this, he withdrew from that place. Many people followed him, and he cured them all, but he warned them not to make him known. This was to fulfill what had been spoken through Isaiah the prophet. Behold, my servant whom I have chosen my beloved in whom I delight, I shall place my spirit upon him and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not contend or cry out, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, a smoldering wick he will not quench until he brings justice to victory and in the name of the Gentiles will hope. The Gospel of the Lord. The Pharisees in this morning's gospel were angry with Jesus, although he did nothing wrong. But what he was doing is putting them to shame because he exposed the ways in which they were superficial and false. But all of this was to fulfill what, the prophet, what was prophesied long ago through the prophet Isaiah. In today's gospel, St. Matthew puts this prophecy in the context of Jesus' own life and ministry. He says, Behold, my servant whom I have chosen, he will not contend or cry out. A bruised reed he will not break. A smoldering wick he will not quench until he brings justice to victory. And Gary Gou Lagrange, an early 20th century French Dominican theologian, gives a very specific interpretation of this prophecy and relates it to the beatitude of meekness. He says, the broken reed is sometimes our angry neighbor who is broken by his own anger. We must not crush him by taking vengeance on him. Christ has been compared to the lamb which lets him itself be led to the slaughter without uttering a complaint. Not breaking the bruised reed or quenching the smoldering wick is an image for not reacting in an angry or irritated way to those who may be broken by their own anger. The Pharisees were irritated with Jesus, yet he did nothing wrong. But he did not break the bruised reed and respond with anger by contending or crying out. Rather, he humbly submitted to God's will and gave us the perfect model of the beatitude of meekness. But true supernatural meekness has nothing to do with being always afraid of offending others or letting everything go because they are afraid to react or constantly afraid of what others may be thinking about them. 
Rather, true Christ-like meekness is a power of self-control. It enables us to possess our souls, to keep calm, even if a person is angry or frustrated, either with us or with a particular situation. True meekness enables us to not respond to an angry comment with the same angry tone, nor to try to get even, but to rather show charity, tranquility, and kindness even in the most difficult situations. Meekness is the flower of charity. And so through the grace of the Holy Spirit, may we express this beatitude of meekness in our daily lives in imitation of Christ and the Blessed Mother while humbly waiting upon the Lord until he brings justice to victory. Let us pray. For the church, may the Holy Spirit continue to fill her people with courage to spread the good news. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For political and religious leaders, may wisdom and the Lord's guidance help them promote peace in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For Christians around the world persecuted for their beliefs, May the Lord continue to grant them fortitude. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all members of this community of faith, may Christ have a place in our hearts and in our homes. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all the souls in purgatory, may they soon enter into eternal rest in God's heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for Cassandra Ballou, for whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Gracious God, please hear our prayers and answer them according to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Sanctify our offerings by your blessing, O Lord, we pray. And by your grace, may we be set afire with that flame of your love, through which St. Apollinaris overcame, overcame every bodily torment. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus, Sabaoth, You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith we proclaim.
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. <clears throat> Deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Let me say the word, my soul shall be.
Let us pray. <clears throat> May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr Apollinaris faithful in your service and victorious in suffering. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Salve Regina, Mater Misericordiae, Vita Lucero, Espes Nostra Salve, A Te Amo,